Aaron McLaughlin is in Kharkiv for us. And Aaron, what do you have on the latest on these attacks and are, are there any updates on the numbers? Well, Ukrainian officials say that sadly that death toll has risen to at least 20 killed in that overnight attack, dozens wounded, including children. The attack happened in the small hours of the morning. Multiple missiles fired into a residential area, hitting a number of structures. One apartment building, though, in particular, was struck a section of that building co completely collapsing. In the morning, you could see in pictures rescue workers pulling survivors from the rubble. One woman who survived the attack described what it was like to be inside the building at the moment of impact. Take a listen. Стріляли, бабахнуло так, що все дрожало. Ми не знали, що ми тут точки були. It's truly horrifying. Uh, and this is an area of the country that's come under regular fire missile attack from Russian forces. Just 30 miles away is the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the largest nuclear plant in Europe. That is under Russian control. The city is under Ukrainian control, even though. Russian President Vladimir Putin has illegally annexed it, and it has been a flashpoint in the conflict and a great source of concern, especially considering uh, the state of the nuclear plant, Aaron. Yeah, and Aaron, we just don't want to become immune to those images because it's, it's so horrific to see those innocent people and, and the destruction that Ukraine has been undergoing um, for too long now. But Russia is also dealing with the aftermath of that explosion that damaged the bridge between Russia and Crimea. It is partially reopened. But what experts are saying is it is much of a symbolic defeat as a strategic one. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Russian officials tonight are saying they have been able to get the railway working again. Russian state television showed footage showing a train moving on those tracks. Uh, earlier today, we heard from the British Ministry of Defense on Twitter saying it's not exactly clear how much damage was done from the explosion to the train tracks. Those tracks were engulfed in flames at one point, potentially damaging the metal and their ability to carry a load. And that's potentially critical to this fight because the Russians are relying on the Kerch Bridge to move heavy equipment over the bridge onto the front line in Kherson, where Ukraine has launched a counteroffensive. And if they lose the ability to move heavy equipment on that bridge, it becomes very, very difficult for them to resupply that front line. So it's a it's a strategic and logistic issue, but it's also a symbolic issue. We've heard from President Putin tonight say that it was a terrorist attack, blaming Ukrainian special forces. However, Ukrainians have not officially claimed responsibility for the attack. They, they certainly are celebrating it. Aaron. Yeah, yeah, and there's some talk of actually trying to um, get Putin to change the name of the operation to an anti-terrorist uh, operation as opposed to a special military operation. Aaron McLaughlin for us in Ukraine. Thanks for that reporting and stay safe.